Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The construction of any custom impression tray begins with a good set of preliminary models. The preliminary model for the immediate denture, in this case the maxillary immediate denture, should include all of the landmarks uh, with which you are familiar. It should, should include the full extent of the two brosities bilaterally, the posterior border, hopefully the impression will pick up the fovea palatini in the midline. It should include the buccal and labial flanges and the extent of the labial vestibule in the anterior area. Any large bubbles or voids should necessitate securing a new and more accurate preliminary impression. After the preliminary uh, models and impressions have been made, the first step, as with any impression tray, is to draw in pencil on the preliminary cast the outline uh, of where you believe the finished denture will be. As you know, this outline uh, in the posterior area runs from the hamular notch through the fovea palatini or just posterior to the fovea through the hamular notch to define the posterior border. It, of, it of course runs around the tuberosity and it is relieved in the uh, buccal frenum area and then of course it is relieved in the anterior in the labial frenum area. Since most preliminary impressions and the models from those impressions are made from alginate, the peripheries that you see uh, in the preliminary model are usually overextended. This means that the outline of where the denture will be should usually be a millimeter or two short of the periphery on the uh, uh, preliminary cast. And in, in this case, you can see that this outline is a millimeter or two short of the periphery in its entire, uh, in its entire circumference. After you've drawn where you want the uh, tray to be placed or to be, be made, the recent extraction sockets can be filled with molten pink wax. And we've done that on each posterior segment. In the anterior segment, where the last six maxillary teeth remain, the interproximal and gingival cuff areas can also be blocked out slightly with molten pink base plate wax. In this sectional tray technique, we are going to be making two trays that fit together as one for securing the final impression. The first tray will cover the posterior border of this arch, covering all of the edentulous area, the uh, ridges bilaterally, the palate, up to the lingual surfaces of the teeth. In this tray will be made um, exactly as uh, the trays that you are familiar making for a completely edentulous mouth. This posterior border, will, uh, posterior segment will first be blocked out with one layer of 28 gauge pink wax. And the anterior segment over the teeth will be blocked out with two layers of regular uh, sheet pink base plate wax. After the appropriate block out has been completed, the acrylic resin can be mixed and rolled out in the usual manner. The thick side of the board is used to, to give a stronger tray. The posterior tray is then, is then fabricated and can be trimmed with a uh, red-handled knife around the peripheries, and the peripheries should be short of the pencil line so that these peripheries can be redefined as to their length and thickness when we border mold these peripheries with our stick compound. This first tray is then 
trimmed with an arbor band, uh, trying to maintain the 28 gauge relief spacer in the tray. This, of course, is removed, as you know, prior to making the wash impression. After this first tray has been made, it is placed back on your uh, preliminary model. And the second tray is then made right over this first tray. The first tray is lubricated very slightly with uh, a lubricant such as Vaseline. A new mixture of uh, Forma tray is made. And the second tray is then made so that it extends up into the labial vestibule in the anterior area over the teeth and then has a large posterior border which exactly keys onto the first tray. I have cut a hole in the center part of this second tray so that when this tray is seated and in the mouth, when, uh, you can see that the tray is seated properly. If you don't cut that hole out or have some other means of of determining that the first tray is indeed seating properly in relationship to the second tray. After this second tray is made in form a tray, it again is trimmed and polished to the proper uh, peripheries. And then as a last step, a handle is added to the anterior portion of this tray so that the tray is easily uh, handled by the operator when it is taken to the mouth. And it is perforated with numerous holes uh, in order to mechanically lock the alginate, which we use to make this second impression. Uh, the holes act to lock the alginate to the tray so that the alginate does not pull from the tray uh, when it is removed from the mouth. The first tray that we made also is perforated uh, with numerous holes in the ridge area and also in the palatal area to, relief, to uh, uh, relieve the hydrost uh, hydrostatic pressure from the wash medium. When these trays are taken to the mouth to uh, secure our final impression for a maxillary immediate denture, the first tray is border molded uh, in compound. All the peripheries are border molded, the buccal flanges, the posterior border. This anterior area is not border molded. And then this posterior segment, uh, final impression, is taken in any uh, wash medium, either uh, a rubber base medium or a zinc oxide eugenol paste. After that impression is made, the first tray is taken out of the mouth. Uh, the peripheries are trimmed. And then this first tray is placed back in the mouth making sure that it is seated correctly. The alginate, which we use for the second uh, half of this final impression, is then mixed and placed in our custom anterior segment here, making sure that the alginate oozes through these holes so that it locks firmly to the tray. And then this second tray is inserted in the mouth right over the first tray. A tray of this design will ensure that the labial anterior vestibule area will be accurately recorded with no bubbles or voids. This is very important in a maxillary immediate denture. Usually after the alginate sets, these two trays will come out of the mouth in one, in one piece. If they do not come out in one piece, they are very easily keyed back together uh, out in your hand. So this is how we do the sectional two-piece tray for the securing of a final impression for a maxillary immediate denture. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. 
For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.